Excuse me, I'll be right back. <sighs> Gabby, what the hell? I know, I'm sorry I'm late. I mean your clothes. Didn't I see that shirt in the hamper this morning? I give it a sniff. There's another day in it. Gabby, this is an important business dinner. Yeah, but it's also John Rowland's restaurant. If I made myself pretty, you might think I was doing it just for him. Oh, God help me. Is that what this is about? Well, I didn't want to run the risk of failing another test. OK, Gabby, go change. You made your point. Not quite. For the past 11 years, I have stood beside you when you were poor and blind and knocked me up twice. At this point in our marriage, if you still feel the need to test me, then you're the one who has failed. You're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. And for the record, I only took my clip off and shook out my hair because I ran into somebody I knew. I would have done it if it was Lynette Scavo, OK? OK. So do you think you can go home and don't worry. I have clothes and makeup in the car. Good. Because that shirt did not have another day in it. The day begins with a cup of coffee. Some drink it while recalling a lover they once cared for. Some pour it, thinking of the boss they must lie to. Others sip it, contemplating a man they might be in love with. But for one woman on this particular morning, that cup of coffee has to wait. Because she discovers a neighbor in trouble. She goes to help, not only because it's the right thing to do, but because it's the only way she can think of to ask for forgiveness. And once it is given, the day begins. <laughs> 